Hey guys, it's the top 10 flip markets in Chicago for 2021. My name is Andrew Holmes from Chicago RIA, the home of 13,000 plus deals done right here by our members. So if you're not a member, make sure you join and you belong. So let's get into it. So when we talk about flips, what are we talking about? Well, it's a buy, it's rehab, and it's resale. So we're looking at the top markets, and this is what's important to know. We're looking for pound for pound, the best fighter, meaning pound for pound, what towns, what suburbs were the best. And we're looking at the sh list of properties that are right close to Chicago. So these are not in other counties. This is just in and around Chicago area. So let's look at number 10. Number 10 is Maywood, Illinois, and right next to it is Riverwood, Illinois. If you look at kind of Riverwood, Illinois, it's all woods, it's all big houses. On contrast, Maywood has been a market that was really, really hit during the recession back in 2008 through 2015, and it has been hotter than hot. This is a, a market, this was a market that faced a lot of challenges, but the appreciation in this market was higher than this, yet they're in the same zip code. That's number 10. You wanna do flips, this is a market you should be in for 2021. The next one is number nine. It's, well, it's right on top of here, and that is River Grove and Melrose Park. Now, for those of you that are familiar with Chicago, this should not be a surprise. Clearly, as things have opened up, guess what? This is a market people wanna be close, to Chicago, to O'Hare, centrally located, number eight on our list. Now this is a bit of a surprise, which is Chicago Ridge, kind of going towards the south of the Chicago market. If you notice, a lot of these markets that are on the top list, these are not the traditional markets that are the most expensive. Remember what I said, we're looking for pound for pound, the best fighter. In this case, for every dollar spent, the highest profitable deals, what markets, where is the appreciation the most when you're doing a flip? So number eight is Chicago Ridge. Number seven on our list is Park Forest and right next to it, University Park. Both of these towns have struggled quite a bit in terms of the pricing, in terms of some challenges in terms of the communities. Yet today, they are one of the better places when we talk about Flipping properties, both of them have been exceptionally strong, both in 2020 as well as going in 2021. And the future in terms of flipping looks bright. Number six on our list is Chatham and South Shore. Now Chatham has been one of those markets that has been consistent in terms of big dollar flips meaning lots and lots of rehab because these is older uh, stock of housing in Chicago, yet this is an area where they, it has been very hot with investors, was one of the hotter markets in terms of rental properties. And today it remains kind of real solid on the list, number six, and that is Chatham. This is a home of the King of Southside, right? Frank Montro, if you guys don't know who he is, look him up. The next one is Inglewood. Now, for those of you that are from Chicago, this should not be a surprise. It's been in the news, it's the Whole Foods, it's a lot of money has gone into that area in terms of trying to basically bring it up in terms of economics, in terms of bringing it up to par with a lot of the neighborhoods. And you see that in spots that the prices have just absolutely, absolutely shot through the roof. If you're trying to buy a multi-unit property, meaning a two flat, a three flat, a four flat, or even a bigger multi, I mean, it is almost impossible to find. Yet, one of the biggest opportunities is in this particular area, real close to Chicago, and this is a hot spot that has been absolutely tearing it up. The next one on our list is number four. Now this, for a lot of you, would be a surprise, certainly. For me, I am eating my own words, and that is South Austin. Right? This is right next to Oak Park, and this is a community that has traditionally had a lot of challenges, yet the location is such a prime location and such 
beautiful housing stock that it has absolutely come roaring back definitely has been one of the strong places for a lot of people going in in terms of rental properties and it has been absolutely exceptional for flips now you should be wondering well why is that well because you could find a lot of value priced housing in that particular area it's still within chicago and investors have been able to buy up a lot of this housing stock for a very affordable price. So it provides affordable housing for a lot of the end buyers. The next one on the list, number three, is Calumet Park. So this is a uh, area which again is one of those things if you notice on this particular list we have a lot of areas that had suffered during the crash and over the last few years they've been steadily going up yet because of the pandemic and because of the housing shortage a lot of these areas have provided affordable housing for a lot of buyers and the prices have gone through the roof so keeping in mind that we're looking for all the areas so number two and number one are going to be areas that have the highest dollar per dollar returns in entire chicagoland and we're talking about areas that are close to chicago this is not all the color counties this is just close to chicago number two on the list is dalton now those of you guys are not that are not familiar with dalton dalton has consistently throughout the years been one of the most profitable places to do flips Yet, on the other hand, it has suffered with some challenges like some of these other markets. Yet this year, it absolutely has exploded. I mean, consistent returns for a lot of investors. There are four separate pockets in Dalton, and two of the pockets are absolutely hot and on fire. And even today, you can find a lot of value-priced housing and a lot of great flips. Number one on the list and this credit has to go to none other than the king of Southside, our friend mr frank montreux he said don't forget about blue island blue island was just kind of dormant all through the early 2000s boom it's taken off values are rising up blue 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 island baby and that is number one on our list it's blue island right has traditionally been a predominantly Hispanic community, about 80, 85% Hispanic community, yet hadn't recovered as much as Berwyn, as much as Cicero, as much as say even Little Village. Yet this year, people saw value and they have gone there in droves. Beautiful, classic Chicago style housing and a lot of older properties, which has given investors a tremendous, tremendous amount of leg up in terms of looking for profits. So Frank, on this one, man, I have to give it to you. You were 100% on the mark, and he called it literally a year, year and a half ahead of anybody else realizing. Again, this is Andrew Holmes from Chicago Ria. If you're not a member, guys, this is the place to belong. Talk to you guys soon.